Hello and thank you for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be Office 365 Excel tutorial number three and this will be a fairly quick tutorial. We're going to discuss the file formats. When you create a file in Excel you're going to want to save it. The first thing you're going to do the first time you save it you're going to choose file and then you're going to choose save as and you'll see here I've defaulted to a, a directory named temp2. Okay but if you wanted to we're going to save the files here but if you needed to to save the file in a different location, a different directory on your on your computer, you just click browse and then browse to the, the select directory or desktop or wherever you'd want to put that file. By default, you're going to land on Excel workbook star.xlsx, and that's going to be the latest version of Excel. So that'll work you know, for your Office 365 Excel, it'll, you know, if you're sharing a file, it'll work for others opening and editing that file. Um, but there may be examples uh, where you need to save the file in an older format if you're sharing it with someone who has a, say, a very old version of Excel. What you'd want to do is click the drop down box here, and then you'll see if you see about four down, you're going to see Excel 97 2003 workbook star.xls is an example here and you see there's even an older one here for Excel 5.0 or, or Windows 95 workbook. So we're going to go ahead and click this and one of the things you're going to see is when you go to save it you're going to get a message that pops up okay and it's a compatibility checker because as they add new features they may not be supported in older versions. So you just need to keep that in mind if you're using a new feature and you're saving in an old version uh, format, you're, you could lose some of those fun lose some of those functions. And you can see here it'll give you a it'll give you an example, um, you know, a summary here. So I'm just going to say continue and I'm going to save it. And it'll give you another warning here, and then it'll tell you, you know, some of the some of the issues. But I'm going to go ahead and say. Uh, in this case, it's going to say, do you want Excel to recalculate all formulas when this workbook is opened? You can say yes or no. We'll just say yes for right now. Okay. So you'll notice over here, if I go open up my, my directory, I have my original. I'm going to expand this column here so I can read it better. You'll see I have my original save of the Excel worksheet, and you'll see that's in the newer version. And you'll see the other version is the Excel 97-2003 worksheet. You can also go under View and click on, say, Show File Name Extensions. And there you see you have the .xls for the older version, xlsx for the newer version. So another thing you might need to do is if you're using this data and you're going to export it or share it or uh, or import it into a different system that may not accept Excel files, that, but they would typically take CSV files, or also known as comma-separated value files. So in order to save it as a CSV file, you would say Save As, and you again, you would go down to the drop-down. You'll notice there's several different CSVs here. There's CSV UTF-8, uh, by the way, this is one that would support non-ASCII characters. So think special characters, maybe something in a foreign language, um, like a symbol or something like that. That would not be, you know, that you would need to use UTF-8 for. But for most things, you'll be able to use just the CSV extension here. You'll also notice down here there's a CSV Macintosh and a CSV MS-DOS. Again, you'll probably end up using this one most of the time, just CSV, common to delimited. So I'm going to go ahead and say, change it to CSV, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you'll see uh, you get a pop-up here, possible data loss. Some features might be lost if you save this workbook in the CSV format. Uh, to prevent these, preserve these features, save it in Excel file format. So it's very important that if you're going to make a file for an and save it as a CSV to import it into another system as an example. You're going to want to make sure that you save the original Excel file because CSVs lose formatting. Again, you could lose special characters, things like that. Uh, so you want to make sure that you save it as Excel first. It's very important. And then save it as a CSV. 
Okay, so that's how you'd save it as a CSV. And you'll notice now we have a CSV file right here. All right, and you see the type changes to Excel comma separated values. So a few other examples that you may want to use in the future would be a macro enabled workbook. So if you have macros in the workbook and you want those macros to save, you have to save it as a macro enabled workbook. So here's an example here, that, that extension there. Another thing you might end up doing is if you had a template, you might want to save this uh, workbook as a template. Or, or if you had macros in the template, an Excel macro enabled template. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. We'll do another video on importing into Excel. And so we'll import a CSV and a text file in that example. If you're interested in future Excel tutorials and other Office 365 tutorials, along with other technical content, please subscribe. Thank you and have a great day. Take care.